An empath integral quantum problem 2-1. This is from his book uh, on path integrals. Uh, find more on chrisbritton.com. Anyways, problem 2-1 says for a free particle where he gives Lagrangian show that the action is uh, equal to equation 2.8 there. Okay, so for my solution, a uh, free particle is not undergoing a force, it doesn't have acceleration, it's out in space with a constant velocity, but it's just cruising along, it doesn't feel anything, it's not under a potential. Okay, so if velocity is constant, I set x dot subscript, uh, subscript c as my constant velocity, I'll just call it that to keep track of it, okay? And in this paragraph, I explain how Lagrangian, or how Feynman got to his Lagrangian, uh, the v is zero because remember f equals ma equals the uh, partial of v and there's no it's not under potential it's not accelerating so that equals zero and so then this equals zero and then l equals t uh, where t is kinetic energy right it's over here um, so l equals that that's what he gave from the very top anyways uh, we insert our velocity constant oh, we get this and we can put that into the action integral right here and I integrate from some arbitrary starting time to some arbitrary ending time. <clears throat> and I have my velocity constant in there. Uh, velocity, the x, sub, uh, x subscript c is not a function of time. It's a constant, as I said a million times. You can pull it out in front with the m. Okay, so now you're just left with a, a naked integral. So you evaluate that, and it outputs this. Okay. Uh, okay, so that's not the answer yet. You have to do one more thing. Uh, the uh, velocity is just the change generally is just the change in position over the change in time so we can say our x subscript c uh, is the change in position over the change in time where I just choose an arbitrary ending time ending position x sub b and an arbitrary beginning uh, point x sub a and arbitrary ending times of beginning times okay so you plug that in for the value of x subscript c dot and that's what I did here okay that's where I plugged it in. So this is our output from the integral. It cancels with one of the denominators. The top stays squared. Stayed, top numerator stays squared. So the action becomes that. And that's what he was looking for. The end.